So uh, recently got put onto a new project at uh, Infosys, and because I'm on a new project, uh, a lot of bureaucracies you have to go through. And um, I've been making my way through the bureaucracies for the new project. And um, the one that was by far and away the most annoying to me, and like uniquely annoying to me, was the background check. Like, there's a lot of bureaucracies that I have to do for the new position. But for some reason, the background check was just uniquely, uniquely awful to me. It's not like it was even like particularly long. Like there were a couple of the courses that they required me to take that are comparable in length. So I was trying to figure out what about the background check rubbed me the wrong way. And if there is a way that we could make it better <laughs> or at the very least less painful. So... The first hypothesis I put forward is because it's kind of obviously addressed to me, whereas the other courses are more addressed to, like, other people. Like, there are certain courses where it's like, oh, this is just standard information, or, like, a lot of the security courses are just, hey, don't be stupid with information, which is like, okay, yeah, I, I this clearly isn't addressed to me, but I get why they're doing it. Whereas the background check, no, it's specifically you they are doing the background check on. So, like, I don't think this is the ultimate reason, but it does come off as, like, really, really. It also doesn't help that I'm naturally, like, the people can change and past, like, actions are not good determinants of future success. So the concept of a background check in and of itself is kind of, like, anathema in my opinion, like it's not something that I would naturally agree with. I, however, at least get the point of the overall exercise. What I think it ultimately comes down to is all of the annoying little details. Like, I, I had to get paperwork from a job I haven't done. Seri like, I started like at like 10, actually six years ago or seven years ago i don't even remember okay i have a terrible terrible memory and yet you're asking me to fill in a bunch of little nonsensical details and it's like for crying out loud it's only after i submitted the background check that i was like oh you need 10 years of addresses that i it's only after i submitted it that i realized oh hey i forgot to put down bursley and my apartment when i was at u of m so I technically didn't even fill out the entire background check properly because it required so many idiotic details. It's like, why do you need all this information? Why do you need 10 years of addresses? It's like, I only ended up getting a couple of them down because, like, seriously, it, why do you need 10 years of addresses? In that time, just because I forgot two addresses... I think that's ultimately what it comes down to. There's so many irrelevant little details that no one really genuinely cares about that because you forgot them, you stand the chance of not getting the job. It's like, really, you're telling me I might lose a job because I forgot two addresses from a place I lived like seven years ago for like five months. It's like, really? Really? You really, you're really going to do that to me? You're really going to do that to me. It's like so many irrelevant little nonsensical details go into it. And it's like it also doesn't help that like when I was filling out my name, for some reason, when they had like a first and middle name and then like a last name. But when it actually got processed, like apparently you have to add like a space after the middle, middle name, even though it's in a different field. And it ended up get, being like Aaron Milleria instead of like Aaron Milleria. So it's like, even your procedures are bad. Like, if you're going to force me to do all this stuff, at least make it work on your end. It's like, so, like, a few of them I at least get. Like, okay, some degree of employment history I get. But do you really need, like, so many types of documentation? It's like, that's another issue I have with it. I don't like keeping paperwork longer than I need it. So if I do not need a piece of paper, I'm not keeping it. Like, I'm a minimalistic person. If I do not need something, I am not keeping it. But they're over here being like, oh, you need like 5 billion documents. It's like, 
Luckily, unlike an Infosys procedure, to, to validate your Infosys procedure, they specifically need a relieving letter. Whereas, like, at least with this background check, you can get away with, like, having offer letters, which, because I had to sign those, I was at least in my doc hub. So at least some of them I actually kept on, like, the doc hub just by virtue that I had to sign them. So it wasn't completely annoying in that case, but who the hell keeps, like... If I had more jobs before this, and I was like, if I had like so many more jobs, how would I even keep all this stuff? It's like, really, you, you expect me to keep an offer letter from a job I started when I was like 15? Like if you need 10 years of employment and I'm like 25, that means you need something from back when I was freaking 15. It's like, really? Hang on, love. They probably needed me to put down A and B as well, even though it has nothing to do with the job I'm doing now. It's like, really, really, you need. It's so much detail to prove what. Like, oh no, I'm not a crack addict. Like, I'm not a freaking crack addict. Why do you need ten years of freaking addresses to just prove that I'm not a crack addict? It's like, really, really. Why do you need all this information? It's like, and also just the idea that maybe because I left off like two places that I just forgot or like I forgot some like irrelevant detail or like just that entire notion in of itself is kind of like really disgusting to me. And you couple it with the fact that I am personally the type of person who like thinks we should improve, that people can improve. So the entire notion of the background check is meh, is like irrelevant details, a questionable premise, irrelevant details, it's trying to improve in my integrity or question my integrity, and a bunch of irrelevant details. <laughs> like, seriously, like, I did, I'm realizing I really do have to stop saying like so much, but I guess that's just because I'm rambling. So... And so is another one. But then again, I speak fast, so I don't really know. Okay, that's a topic for another day. Um, so, when it comes down to it, like, I know I'm a very good candidate. Like, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I haven't killed anyone, I haven't stolen anything, I have no criminal record. I've literally never even gotten a ticket. <laughs> like... And it's not even like I'm a particularly good driver. I'm actually a pretty shit driver, but I'm, like, at least a safe shit driver. Like, so much of this stuff, it's like, why do you need this stuff? Like, background checks are, like, a very, like, SI concept, I guess. Like, why do you need 10 years of addresses? Like, why do you even need... Like, okay, I can at least see, like, okay, do you have one? Like, do you have one? So, like, I've lived in three different states. So if you want to check, like, the criminal records from, like, each state I've been to, okay, give me a Michigan address, give me a, a North Carolina address, and give me a Tampa address. So, like, I've lived in three states. So if you want to be like, hey, did you do anything? You should probably be able to get it off of that. <laughs> like, why do you need, like, 10 years? Like, when I was living... When I was going through U of M, like, is, like, I had, like, one apartment, I had, like, a dorm, and then I spent time with, like, both my grandma and my parents, and it was, like, a mixed thing, and it's, like, why do you need to know all this? It's, like, I'm not a freaking crack addict. Like, I'm not a freaking crack addict. Why do you need to know more than that? Like, at least this one didn't have anything to do with debts. Like, if they were, if it was a background check, it was like, oh, what's your financial history? As someone who doesn't believe in debt, it's like, oh, you, you have no credit score? Oh, you must be terrible with money, even though you're not a debt slave. Like, at least this background check didn't do that. If it did that, then it would be like, ugh. ugh. So, yeah, this is more just me venting about the idiocy of background checks. So, so much irrelevant information. So, so much irrelevant information. And like, you need me to keep documents 
that I just naturally am not going to keep. Like, who keeps their offer letters? Like, I don't have my offer letter from U of M. I don't have any of that stuff. Like, at least, like, the Infosys one and, like, the Revature one, I had, like, digitally signed. So I hope the ones I provided are good. But even those, I don't know. And, like, my, uh... Okay, this is just evidence that I have terrible memory, so I'm not going to remember all these details anyway. Um, what's it called? <sighs> Always care. Like, I started that back, I think, in high school or at least early college. I don't remember the exact time. But since I didn't have the information they were looking for, I had to ask my mom to contact the people so they could send me the actual information. And, like, I don't even know if it qualifies. Like, I don't even know if what they sent me is a relieving letter. It's the only thing I could actually get for them. It's like, I hope the paperwork I submitted for employment verification is good because I don't even know if it is. Like, why do you need all this freaking... Like, I have, like, two years of experience at this point. Like... Six-ish months with Revature and, like, nine-ish months with Infosys. Like, as a software developer, I have a little under two years of experience at this point. Like, do you really need, like, that much paperwork? Like, it's not like I'm some sort of, like, senior Uber developer doing all this stuff. Like, honestly, if you want evidence that I do qualify as a senior developer, like, at least references, I would get that. But it's like, why do you need all this verification? Like, what are you trying to prove? Like, and here's the thing. Even if it was, even if I was a dishonest person, you do know you can get free phone numbers with Google Phone. Like, if I wanted to put down, like, invalid numbers, I could easily just put down, like, a friend and be like, hey, I lost some details. Do you mind covering for me? It's like, let's be honest. There are a lot of people who would be willing to do that. And it's like... So many irrelevant details that, like, if you were genuinely a criminal, you could easily get around anyway. It's like... <sighs> so, the premise is stupid, because people can improve. So, even if you have done something terrible in the past, like, I haven't. I'm the most straight-edge person who has ever existed, except for the fact that I curse. But, like, let's be honest, like, if you count cursing as a sin, fuck you. Like, <sighs> but, like... It, so, the concept is flawed. It requires a bunch of irrelevant details. Too many details. Like, can we just get rid of it? Because, like, I, I'm get, I get the purpose, theoretically speaking. But if something is so utterly stupid and a pain point, the natural assumption should be just, can we get rid of this? So, like, I guess to some extent, it can be necessary. Like, I don't actually know what job they're going to be placing me on, so if I'm working with, like, nuclear launch codes or something, then, like, okay, maybe 10 years of employment is actually relevant. But, like, from an actual relevant standpoint, like, I've been a developer for, like, two years. Why do you need addresses back from when I was in college? Like, really? You need addresses from when I was back in college. Why? Why? It's like... Seriously, I guess it's just this background check required too much information is maybe my case. Because I've done a couple of other background checks, and they haven't been as painful to me. Like, they didn't require as much information. So maybe it's just this one in particular required an obscene amount of information that is completely and utterly irrelevant. It's like, oh yeah, the dude who doesn't drink, smoke do any sort of drugs, who volunteers, like, at least before COVID, I was doing, like, almost weekly volunteering, I donate, like, 20% of my wealth, like, oh, yeah, that dude clearly isn't trustworthy, it's like, but then again, I don't really have that many references, like, I would like to say I have a lot of references, I could probably get the contact information from, like, a couple of my different places, but that would honestly probably annoy me just as much. So maybe it's just the system as a whole is going to annoy me no matter what. <laughs> like, just getting all the irrelevant details. Like, I don't like keeping things around if I don't need it. Like, if I don't see an innate value in something, I'm not going to keep it around. And I don't, like, oh, that you require, like, specific to the day of when you started. It's like, I don't remember this stuff. 
Like, I don't remember anything. Like, the only reason I was able to get, like, an estimate of when my lease started is because, like, I have, like, two six-month leases, so my current six-month lease ends here, so obviously it's going to go back. Like, I just extrapolated backward. Is that actually when my lease started? I don't know. I don't freaking know. It's like... Oh, no, instead of, like, starting at your current address on 10-3, you actually started on 10-2, so you're a liar. It's like... And I guess it would help if I actually knew why they needed it. Like, there are certain positions where, like, okay, if I was dealing with, like, nuclear launch codes, then, okay, 10 years of employment history might actually be needed. 10 years of address history might actually be needed. But, like, from what I've read on the website, it's not like I'm dealing with nuclear launch codes or anything. Like, okay, there's some information, but, like, oh, no, don't leak other people's data. Such a hard notion. Like... For crying out loud, I'm a freaking front-end developer, so I'm not even the one, like, that responsible for it anyway. Like, okay, yeah, there are protocols that I have to put in place, but, like, most of the security stuff and most of the people who access the data are the back-end developers anyway. It's like... I guess if I knew why they were doing it... Maybe I'd be more friendly to it, but why do you need 10 years of freaking addresses with contact numbers of people? Like, well, for my Revature address, my Bursley address, and, like, my old uh, apartment at U of M, I don't have phone numbers for anyone there. Everyone I knew there is now moved. Like, all, all of my fellow batchmates, like, the only ones who I might actually have numbers for, don't live there anymore. It's like... It was a freaking training program. Why would I keep... This is like, none of my neighbors are there anymore. <laughs> like, it, at least with the home, it's like, okay, or family numbers. So, like, okay, I was able to get the family numbers. But even that's like, really, you really have to bug my freaking family to just verify that I freaking live. It's like, ugh. like, seriously. So what is the purpose of it? Like, oh no, I'm not a crack addict. Like, and even if I was, if I'm sober at this point, why? Like, it's like, even if I was a criminal, ban the box. Ban the freaking box. Like, I, mean, I, I guess it's just because you're asking for such an obscene amount of detail for stuff that I don't naturally keep around. And the notion that someone like me might get fired because I don't remember a bunch of irrelevant details from, like, ten years ago, like, and for a position that I don't even think necessarily requires it, like, the level of a background check I went under, maybe if it was, like, nuclear launch codes, maybe, maybe something like that I could understand, but, like, it, it doesn't seem like it's that, it seems like basic regulatory software. Like, they haven't actually told me what I'm doing, but, like, from what I read on the website, that seems to be about it. Like, it, it's not, like, you don't need this type of information for that. It's like, oh, no, don't leak other people's data. Like, seriously, like, you need 10 years of data just to prove that, like, oh, no, he's not going to leak other people's data. Can we just get rid of the background checks? Like, I, I know right now I'm just venting, so there's probably a really good reason for it. And as soon as I'm not, like, with a little bit of hindsight, and, like, I literally just filled out the background check this morning, so, like, obviously I'm just pissed about it. So, like, there is probably a very good reason for it, but I'm kind of in the venty mood, <laughs> so... It's like... But then again, like... If they genuinely turn me down because I don't remember a couple of irrelevant details or keep paperwork from, like, ten years ago, they don't deserve an employee like me. Like, I've outperformed, like, every point of my career. I've outperformed expectations. So, like, if you genuinely, genuinely aren't willing to hire someone because they don't keep paperwork or don't remember, like, the address of something they've been at, like, since, like, college, and it's like, if you genuinely, genuinely are going to disqualify me because I don't remember a bunch of irrelevant details. You don't deserve an employee like me. 
Like, <sighs> okay, this is just definitely just me venting about the background check. <sighs> So um, I guess that is one thing I will say. Um, to anyone doing the background checks, if you find this video, um, your process is incredibly annoying, requiring such an obscene amount of details that is like, why do you need all this information? It's not a nuclear launch codes position. Like, oh no, don't leak people's data. Like, really? You, you really need that much information? If you find this video and you think of disqualifying me because I'm getting annoyed in a bureaucracy that is, as a matter of principle, kind of annoying, like, ban the box, why do we need this much information? Like, if, if you're genuinely considering firing me for venting about how annoying this process is, yeah, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> like... I think I'm speaking at circles at this point. So does venting actually help? Okay, that's actually a conversation for another time. So does venting actually help? Or does it just piss you off more? And uh, what was the other? That, I, I don't even remember what happened within these 20 minute videos. How do you expect me to remember details from... What, what was the other thing I thought? <sighs> Shit, I don't even remember what happened in this 20 minute filming. How do you expect me to remember things from like... 20 years ago. Well, at least it can mark down the one thing, which freaking notes uh, does venting help. Like, I can be organized, but that's only if I know that it's going to be relevant. Like, this is the type of organization I have. I keep a list of the notes of the topics that I might want to discuss. This I keep notes of because it is relevant. I keep notes on here because this stuff is relevant. Keeping a bunch of irrelevant documents from when I was like 15, I don't keep around because it's not relevant. Why, why do I need to memorize my one, like two addresses that I haven't lived at in like five years, and I didn't even get mail out when I was there anyway. Like I didn't get mail when I was at Brisley. I didn't get mail when I was at my U of M apartment. I didn't get mail when I was at like any, like I didn't get mail when I was at like the Tampa place. Like why would I memorize my addresses if I don't need it? Like, okay, at least with my current address, I actually do get mail here. So like, okay, I this is actually relevant, but it's like, with direct deposit, you don't even really need, like, to memorize your address for anything. And, like, if your bills are being paid with your rent through your company or through, like, it's like, well, why do you need to know this? It's like, I guess that's another thing. It's just an invasion of privacy for a position that I don't even think merits it. Like, maybe when I actually get put on the position they'll be able to explain to me why they need like an 80, okay, it wasn't an 80 page, it was like an 80 minute thing. It was like two hours to fill out. Like, why do you need two hours? Just, just do you really need two hours of content? And it'd be one thing like, okay, you, I fill this out in two hours. You need two weeks to verify I'm not a crack addict. Really, you need two weeks to verify I'm not a crack addict. Like. And at least tell me the position, like, if I at least knew, like, I know the company that it's going to be with, but from what I read on their website, it doesn't even seem like any of the things they're creating require this level of, like, a background check. It's, like, basic regulatory software. Like, okay, maybe some privacy things. Like, okay, if you're dealing with other people's data, don't release it. Make sure you follow good security procedures. Got it. That's a very simple process. Like, that... The entire thing where I can actually see, like, why you would need someone to know this is kind of handled by a lot of the certifications they're making me do anyway. Like, the actual morality, like, if it, okay, so if you need the background check to verify that, if it, okay, so if you have the background check, it verifies that the person isn't going to do something like that. 
But if you have them look through the certifications that tell them that you're not supposed to do stuff like that, that qualifies. It's far less invasive, far less annoying, doesn't require me to keep decades of content that I'm not going to remember. Again, I didn't even remember something within this video. I'm SI blind. I'm at ENTJ. I don't remember this stuff. It's like... Can we just get rid of it? Like, okay, maybe for like nuclear things, but like, if it's just like basic, hey, don't leak people's data. Do, do you really need a two hour background check to, to just verify that I'm not gonna leak people's data? Like, of course I'm not gonna do that. It's like, what? you need a two hour background check to just verify that I'm not the type of person who's going to leak people's data. Really, really? It's like, and be one thing if like background checks were actually any good. But the, the one I did during Ravager, it took a fraction of this time, but, um, like, I guess that's another reason I don't like background checks. The last background check I did, um, apparently not smoking weed disqualifies you from getting a position at J.P. Morgan. Like, literally, my Ravager batch filled out a bunch of background checks, and uh, the five people who put down they smoked weed are the ones who got the interviews, whereas the people who didn't are the ones who didn't get the interviews. So if you're going to have background checks, it's like, well, one of the dudes who got turned down on the background check was literally an ex-nuclear, like, an, he was on a nuclear submarine. If you have the qualifications to pass those types of background checks, why do you need, like, how do you fail a background check like that? So even if this was necessary, and the, the systems actually made sense, there's a good failure rate on it anyway. Like, so they don't even do what they're trying to do. Like, shit, they don't even do what they're trying to do most of the times anyway. Like, seriously. Why the fuck do you need two hours to just verify that, oh, he's not the type of dude who's going to leak other people's content? Like, of course I'm not going to do that. Like, basic, basic morality. Like, so what is the function of it anyway? Like, they have decent failure checks. As a matter of principle, they're kind of, in, like, discussing, like, you should be able to improve. It requires a bunch of irrelevant details that I don't naturally keep around. And what is it even trying to measure for anyway? Like, at least with the other certifications, it's like, oh, this is something that you might need to know, so make sure you know it. Like, okay, that makes sense. If you need to know something, you need to know it. Okay, that makes sense. If, like, I don't think a lot of the training is relevant, but it, okay. Like, basic security training, I get. Like, okay, have safe passwords, don't leak data, don't click on anything that's fishy. Like, okay, that, it's nice to at least understand that. That doesn't hurt. It's like, okay, the, the basic trainings, I get the point of. But what is the point of this? Like, do, do you really need, like, a three-hour background check just to prove that I'm not going to leak data? And why is it, like, I can fill out the background check in two hours or three hours, and you need, like, two freaking weeks to actually get it done? Like, oh, okay, here is his criminal check history. Oh, he's not a crack addict. Okay. Like, seriously. Seriously, at least they didn't do anything financial because like there are some places where apparently if you aren't a debt slave and you don't have a credit score, that disqualifies you. So if they're the type of place that requires you have a credit score and be a debt slave to be considered responsible. Like, OK, I don't even want to work for them, which that's at least a good thing to know. <sighs> so it's incredibly invasive. It questions my integrity for no discernible reason. And even if there was a reason for it, I do believe that people have the right to improve. So asking this much data for a position that I don't even think needs this much data, like, seriously, do you need a three-hour background check for the, just to verify that he's not going to leak some data? Really? Really? You need that much freaking data? Okay, maybe when I'm more sober-minded, I might be able to find a reason why this background check was actually necessary. But as of now, I'm not seeing it. I, I guess this is one of the reasons why you have to be 
sober minded when you make a decision because there probably is a good reason why they need this. I just don't know it. And I thought venting might actually help me, but it's actually made me more pissed at the procedure. <laughs> it's made me more pissed at the procedure, not less pissed. I'm like, really? Because I thought the certifications would be more annoying, but they weren't. Like, some of them were actually kind of interesting. So, and the, like, even the other ones, like, okay, I don't think they're relevant to me, but if I end up having to do back-end work, seeing, like, the specific procedures they require, okay, that's actually good. Like, if I need to do that work, I have a reference point of where I can go. That makes sense. I'm fine with that. But, so it doesn't do its job, and even if it did, it's a wrong principle. You question my integrity for a flawed procedure, requiring me to require, remember a bunch of details that I'm not capable of remembering. Like, okay, I'm just repeating myself at this point. So, um, yeah, if uh, you're from the background check and you watched this, uh, feel free to comment down below why you need to fill out a three, like a three-hour background check just to prove I'm not going to leak data. Like, it, it, if you're actually doing that thorough of a background check, feel free to comment because. Uh, as you can see, it's clearly, clearly an annoying bureaucracy in my opinion. So, uh, yeah.